Initially, we thought that llamas are, for example, white, um, and it turns out that the first time I saw Wally's picture was it was really interesting because uh, it's a little bit reminiscent of my black Labrador Wally. That's why we name him Wally the Llama. We inject llama Wally using the uh, virus spike protein, and after 50 to 55 days, um, we uh, took the blood from llama Wally, and then we used this technology we developed by using mass spectrometry to enable large-scale discovery of the potent neutralizing nanobodies from llama Wally. So humans produce antibodies when uh, they encounter or are infected by the viruses to neutralize the virus. And the nanobodies are a very small antibodies produced by llama that can do the same job. Um, and they're extremely um, potent and stable, which could be used for uh, therapeutics. Compared to the um, monoclonal antibodies that usually requires um, intravenous injection, uh, our nanobodies uh, allow the possibility of direct inhale, which makes direct delivery of the nanobody to the major infected organ, which is the lung. We're currently collaborating with the Center for Vaccine Research at the University of Pittsburgh to perform preclinical experiments using different uh, SARS-CoV-2 animal models. And I can tell you that we get very encouraging results.